welcome to the Streamweaver tutorial. My name is Daniel Walter Scott and I'm a trainer here at Bring Your Own Laptop. In this tutorial we're just going to look at refining our skills at creating a class because they're quite important. We use classes quite a bit. Um, so let's create our second class. Now we're going to do it to one of the words in here and we're going to pick our word legendary. Okay and we're going to make it a different size. Actually we'll change a different color and we'll make it italics. Let's say that it's the brand name. So let's pick a brand name actually. Let's go for Combi. Okay, VW Combi, I want to make italic and change the color of it. So to do it, what I need to do is just like we did before, I don't have to highlight it first. It's up to you. Um, but I can click main CSS. That's where I'm going to put this class. I'm going to create a new selector that I get to name. Remember, I can call it anything I like. So I'm going to call it um, the main, the main thing to make sure it's a class is it has to have full stop in the front of it. Then once you put that, I'm going to have this is um, this is going to be my C name for my company name. You get to name it anything you like. No spaces, no special characters. And down here, I'm in the properties panel. I'm going to choose text, and I'm going to go through and decide it's going to be a different color. Okay, I'm going to make this one green, and I'm going to pay with a font style. And I'm going to make it italic. All right, nothing happens over here until I apply it. So it's got the paragraph tag already applied. Already applied. This one, I'm going to apply my class, and you can see here, C name. Let's have a look at it in code view. So you can look at it in CSS. So this is my um, class that I've created called C name, and it's got a color of green and a font style of italic. But you can also look in source code. This is my HTML. This is the HTML part of it. So this is the CSS part. This is the HTML. This is my index.html page. You'll see if I zoom in in here. Um, actually, I won't zoom in. I've got um, where is he? So there's my paragraph starts. So my paragraph starts there and closes there. That gives me my paragraph. Now within this paragraph, I highlighted the word combi, and it's wrapped this thing called a span tag around. And in this Okay, the span tag, it's called a span class, and there's my little C name. So this is how it goes off, my HTML now goes off looking for a class called C name in my CSS, and then applies these features to it. So that's how a class works. All right, that's it for this tutorial, and um, I'll see you in the next one.